Uh, Thad Seymour is here this morning, Vice President of Life Sciences at Lake Nona. Uh, Thad. Thank you, Gray. Good morning, everybody. I had the chance to have dinner with Gray last night, and I got thinking about the fact that he's a relative newcomer to uh, Florida, and I hope you don't think that this hairstyle is something that's going to happen to you after you live here for a little while. But it's actually very comfortable. It works. It works in, uh, in, the, in this great weather state. Uh, but good morning, everybody. I am... Um, uh, I have this unique opportunity and responsibility in, in my role um, at what's called Lake Nona Medical City to work with a remarkable range of partners in building a brand new cluster. And so I'm, I'm not going to talk to you about the, the great uh, weather. I'm not going to talk to you about the great business climate. I'm not even going to talk to you about the fourth busiest destination airport that is right next to our project. And I'm not going to talk to you about this culture and spirit of imagination that uh, began when Walt Disney uh, bought a bunch of land in Central Florida four decades ago. But all of those go into what I am going to talk to you a little bit about. Um, this is a, um, and I want to paint the picture of what we're building here because what we're doing is really ties together the remarks you heard from the other uh, folks already this morning. We're building an ecosystem. We're building a brand new, um, brand new uh, life sciences cluster. And the themes, uh, the four themes I want to talk about, I'm going to put in the context of what we're doing at Lake Nona Medical City, but each one of them applies statewide. And they are these. They are scale, speed, collaboration, and the fourth is greenfield, which I'll explain in a second. So let me start with scale and just, again, describe what we're doing at Lake Nona Medical City, but, but uh, you can infer what's happening throughout the state with each of these. Um, as David mentioned, this is a project that uh, it represents 7,000 acres, which if you put it on top of Manhattan would actually go from Battery Park to Central Park. Uh, so it's going to keep us busy for a few years. Just to the southeast of, uh, of Orlando International Airport, we have right now $2 billion in construction, either, either recently completed or underway, all in health, health and life sciences related facilities. We have a range of uh, remarkable institutions that are part of this, uh, starting with a brand new medical school at the University of Central Florida. Uh, UCF is now the second largest university in the country uh, behind Arizona State. Many people uh, don't realize that. Uh, we also have the, the East Coast campus of the Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute. Uh, if you go to the personalized medicine session, you'll hear from Leslie Maloney about that remarkable institution. Um, we have a, two new hospitals under construction, the Nemours Children's Hospital, funded by the Alfred I. DuPont Charitable Trust, and the largest new veterans hospital, the VA Medical Center, which is almost a billion dollars in, in construction and fit out. Both of those two hospitals will open next year. In addition, we have a University of Florida facility. We have two state universities cohabitating this research park, which is great. Uh, so David's organization will have a footprint here, which we expect will grow over time. MD Anderson has a Cancer Research Institute here. Uh, and then we have a whole series of other things that will be coming in the, in the, in the years ahead. So all of that is, is scale. Related to that, and maybe equally important, is speed. None of that existed five years ago. Nothing was there. There was not a single uh, building. None of these decisions had been made. Now, I don't know about you, but five years ago is not a long time. I mean, how many of you had heard of a credit default swap five years ago? And maybe unrelated, um, I know I'm driving the same car that I had five years ago. Maybe it is related, I don't know. But, but uh, the point is, five years is a very short period of time. And yet all of these things have happened very, very quickly. We have to uh, the governor's comments. We have about 400 people working at Lake Nona right now, not counting a couple of thousand construction workers. By the end of next year, we'll have over 4,000, and that's a trajectory we expect to be continuing in the in the years and decades ahead. Same thing is happening throughout the state. Uh, third theme you've heard a bit, and we think is really important, is collaboration, clusters, innovation, the sorts of things that are critical to the future of the life sciences depend on collaboration. So from the very beginning, not only in the, uh, it, starting with the physical plan for Lake Nona and this cluster, we built it as a collaborative place. The buildings are close together. Uh, we have retail and residential integrated into the project. Uh, it's not just a, a re standalone research park. So it's a place that's it's great to live, it's, it's a great place to work and to collaborate with others. And second, we've built this, uh, this sense of collaboration from the very beginning. 
Uh, one of the things we hear constantly from those who are coming to join this, the institutions in this cluster is that they're coming because of the opportunity not just to work for the organization they're going to be employed by, but to work with the other partners down the street. So the chance to do that uh, in, in one place, in a brand new place, we think is critically important. Again, the theme that resonates throughout the entire state of Florida. And then finally, and maybe most unique in what we're doing, is this sense of greenfield. This is a chance to build, a, sort of a chance of a lifetime, to build from scratch a brand new place. Uh, we've had many people tell us who've come to visit that this is the largest such ground up cluster anywhere in the country, and maybe one of the top three or four in the world. Uh, that are happening, coming out of the ground all, all at the same time. And what that gives us is this opportunity to do things differently. The definition of a greenfield is you're unencumbered by the, the, the things of the past. Uh, you stay away from silos. You don't, you're not dependent on how it's always been done, but rather you are able to ask the question, uh, uh, why can't it be done? And so we are recruiting this team of people who are coming here, not people who are comfortable in their tenure track jobs at a large research university, but people who want to uh, set out and make their mark and do it with partners in a new place. And so I think that is what will uh, be the fundamentally important and valuable contribution that we'll make at Lake Nona. But again, I think that theme resonates throughout everything that we're doing in the state of Florida. We weren't on the biotech life sciences map 10 years ago. We are now, we've got great trajectory, we've got great opportunity going forward. You've heard from some of the leaders in this community, there are hundreds of others, and this is a place that truly can help businesses grow, succeed, prosper, and build on the talent that we have and the talent that we can recruit to truly make Florida one of the great contributors to the future of life sciences. Thank you. Thank you, Thad.